Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you something that is so simple and that's going to be a lifesaver in the event of an emergency in which your thermostat maybe has gone bad or maybe you don't have batteries for the thermostat. Check this little thing out. It's a tiny little two wire thing, no batteries, and it's called a heat stat. They make these with different degrees and this one is a 65 degree and literally it's just two wires. I'm gonna show you exactly how to hook this up to your thermostat. And this will regulate the temperature and call for heat in the event that your thermostat goes bad. Um, we've got this big winter storm coming through the whole US and this is a great time to pick up one of these, keep it in your junk drawer. So let's show you how to put it on and verify that this actually works. All right, so as you can see, our furnace heater is on right now. Uh, we are going to bump this down. It's 64 degrees in the house, so we're gonna turn it down. Uh, the heat just kicked off. And then we're just going to remove this base plate or the thermostat rather. Now you'll notice now that we have this off, we have five wires in here. Now the only two that we're going to be messing with is R and W1. Now regardless of what kind of thermostat you have, this will work. Uh, it does not matter what kind of thermostat you have. Even if it's one of those old um, dial ones that don't have any um, electrical components, those can also fail. I've had two thermostats this week to fail that I've had to go and replace. So this does happen quite often and this is an awesome solution. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to remove our R wire right here. We're just gonna push that tab in and pull out. And then we're going to remove our W1 wire. Okay, so now that we've got those two disconnected, what you can do, even if you don't have this, is you can connect the R and the W1 and your furnace will come on, but it will just stay on as long as these are connected. And that's what we want to avoid. That's what this does. It will keep the house at 65 degrees. And literally all we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these Hook it here and the other here. The polarity does not matter. All right, so what we're gonna be using are these Vagos, Wagos, however you pronounce it. Everybody says it differently. We're simply gonna slide this all the way until it hits the clear end here. Lock it in place. Slide the one side of our temp stat. Lock it in place. Same thing with the other side. You can use wire nuts here. You can even wire them together and put some tape on them in an emergency. But these lever nuts are awesome to have uh, around the home. Uh, you can find these on our Amazon store. If you go to the Wago section, they have a variety pack and different orientation uh, for these. So if you remember when we hooked this up, um, we were at 64 degrees. We're going to wait for this to kick on. As soon as the furnace kicks on, I'll uh, start filming. But as of right now, it is 541. So uh, we're gonna give this a few minutes and see when it kicks on. And then also when it shuts off to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. All right, so I got my little field piece uh, thermometer here. The furnace just kicked on. It says it's uh, about 63 degrees. So there's a two degree differential. So when this, if it's 65 in here, um, this says it's a 65 degree heat stat. If it gets down to 63, that's when it'll come on and then it'll bump it up to 65 and then it'll wait until it gets down to 62. So I just heard the burners kick on. I'm just gonna show you that the furnace is indeed working. <clears throat> The furnace is on. I don't know if you heard that, but our fan just kicked on. So guys, this thing works. It's so easy. So very simple um, and very effective. They also make these at different temperatures. So this is a 70 degree. That's a 60 degree. They make one 50 degree. 
Uh, they use these for temporary heat in construction where there's no thermostat, but this is awesome to have in the event of an emergency. So the burner is just kicked off. I heard it from upstairs. And we have met our threshold at 65, just over 65 degrees. As you can see, we're at 65.6 .6 degrees. Our furnace is just in the cool down mode and we'll kick off in probably about 10 seconds or so. And there we go. You probably just heard it kick off. So this guy works. Um, it keeps it within that threshold that it's labeled at and an awesome thing to have in a sticky situation. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to know where to find these, check them out in the video description. We have some links there for you, as well as these uh, Vago lever nuts. Um, awesome things to have around your home. Uh, so check it out. And if you enjoy these emergency heat videos, uh, check out this playlist where we have other emergency heat videos that will help you be prepared in the event of an emergency. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.